a lap joint. You should tack weld this on the ends. Aim the electrode at 45 degrees to the vertical into the corner, as you did for the T joint. Try to put down enough weld metal to just fill up the angle. The macro section shows that the weld has just reached the top corner of the upper piece. If you don't keep the electrode aimed exactly at the corner but let it wander, the weld metal won't be in the right place, so it won't join the two parts. If you have problems holding a fresh electrode steady, you can save part used electrodes for the tricky bits. Don't rest your arm on your knee or on the bench to steady it as you'll find it's very difficult to keep the electrode at the correct angle all along the joint, which is what you should be aiming for. Instead, if you're using a helmet, you'll have a hand free to steady yourself or to support your welding hand while allowing it freedom of movement. Practice until you can make a good lap joint, then move on to a corner joint in 6mm thick steel. Start by assembling the parts with square edges, so as to leave a small gap of 1 to 1.5mm. Tack weld as before at one end. Then you can unclamp the parts before tacking the other end. For the actual welding, the electrode should be upright, viewed from the end, and at 70 degrees, viewed from the side. Of course, you should aim for the center line of the joint. If you could look at the weld from underneath, you'd see how the metal melts right through the joint. When you've finished, turn the joint over to make sure the weld metal has penetrated through to the inside. As you won't have filled the joint with metal, make a second run with weaving. Pause at the sides for good results.
The macro section shows that the weld metal fills the joint with a reasonably smooth top and bottom surface. This, on the other hand, had the plates overlapping before welding and the weld hasn't penetrated right through the joint. Here, the gap was too big and the molten metal has penetrated too much. In fact, it could have melted right through and left a hole.